Morning guys, so today we are finishing off the wiring. We cut it out yesterday and painted most of it. And we're just starting to install it today so you can kind of see our pantry coming together. And then we have the ply on the back and on these sides cut out, little drawers cut out, and then put them in and then later on we'll do these tops that are going to be 15 mil ply, so a bit, uh, a bit thicker. It's much more sturdy than, we're only using seven on the sides, like here and there, just because we, there's, you know, we've already got a structural base of this aluminium, so it only needs just a, as dividers um, and kind of partitions. So, another big day, but it should be looking good this afternoon. So this is our little outdoor shower part. So that's our kick-ass um, shower tent, which will drop down. And this is our little shower nook. So we're gonna have our shampoo and conditioners and toothbrushes and stuff like that. And we'll put a little mir mirror up there as well. We're actually getting another board here. So it's gonna be closed off. And the back side of that is our pantry. So it's looking good. So we've changed the ply. This was our original stuff, was seven mil ply. Um, structural ply so by the time we painted it it ended up going weird um, I don't know if you can see but we sanded it back and painted it and we didn't like it um, exactly so we ended up going for this 9mm so a little bit thicker V board so it has the grooves in it um, should look much better um, and then we've chosen a different gloss paint because this was more of a flat finish didn't like the look of it and then we're now going to mitre the corners on the back of the troopy so then it should look all nice and straight with the V grooves the whole way up when you look in the troopy. So it should look a bit better, a bit more expensive now, but burn them through the dollars, but it should look good. Today we are just finishing off the kitchen bench. We've cut all the outsides of the ply using 9mm V-groove and finished that. We've just got to wait to paint that and the runners to go in before we install that. So we decided we'll finish up this kitchen. So we've got the two outer sides, a brace in the middle and then we've got a piece of, um, I think it's about 20mm oak that's going to go on top and we might just return it at the edge here so nothing falls down because we want to still get access to, the, to this window to open it and close it. Should look good, it was, it's taking some time but we're gonna get probably more like a little rectangle sink and then um, a little gold or brass um, tap off to the side. So should look good to kind of match together. So I come home from work again, um, second day back, so it's a bit of a killer, but working on the trippy again. We are 
we're making the bench seat that will fold up for our storage that's behind our seats. Um, there will be an outer, outer edge of the bench that will be staying down and then the middle will pop up. So I'm just making all the corners nice and curved, as you can see. And um, that tendril section will catch, will sit on the aluminium so there's support. And then the outer edge will stay when you go lift it up. So it'll look pretty nice. And then this will miss the window and then that will miss the pantry door when you open it because there'll be a handle there and there's on the troopies obviously they start curving in on the window. So should look good. So finally got this one done. Um, just obviously need to sand it and paint it and glue and drill it down into place, but it turned out good, I'm happy with it. So it opens up all the way, pretty much. Just gonna take this handle off. Um, put two little just grommets in there, because we don't need that anyway, and then it's gonna open the whole way up. That's the only thing that's stopping it. But it turned out pretty well.